Hey everybody, Nick here from The Bearded Housewife. I am so excited to show you some new products that have landed on my shop at shop.thebeardedhousewife.com. These are my fall side edge cards. We have a cute little acorn. The sentiment on the inside says, happy fall y'all. And then room on the back to write your message. We have two cute leaf designs. This is leaf style number two. This is leaf style number one. And our cute little pumpkin. Again, all of them have the same sentiment, the happy fall, y'all. All of these designs are layered paper designs on the front. And every single design comes with the envelope. So today I'm gonna show you how to put together the cute little pumpkin. So let's get started. Okay, I have everything cut out. This is the card base the overlay for the front of the card, the mat and layer for the inside of the card, the mat and layer for your messaging panel, the envelope, the pumpkin, and the sentiment layer. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna want to attach the cover panel to the front of the card. Let me get my glue here. All right, go ahead and place this on top of the card base and we're gonna to want to keep a nice border around the edge. Press that down. All right, now let's just take the, uh, the message layer, put some glue on the back, and apply that to the mat. Leaving a nice border around the, the edge there. And now we can glue this to the back of the card. There we go. Now go ahead and fold along the score line of the outer card layer. You can do this at first too. I, it, it really doesn't matter when you do this part. Burnish the fold with your scraper or bone folder. Set that to the side. All right, let's tackle the pumpkin. So the pumpkin comes in three different layers got the front piece, the solid orange, and then the green. Now you can of course cut this out of brown cardstock if you want a brown stem. Go ahead and assemble the pumpkin all together. Okay, your pumpkin is done. Isn't it cute? Now let's go ahead and place this on the front of the card. And, oh, I just realized that I put it on, I layered it backwards. It's supposed to go this way. So instead of making another one, I think I'm just gonna snip off the stem and turn that around. So give me just a second. Okay, there we go. No one is gonna know the difference, except for all of you. <laughs> so just make sure that you uh, do test how your pumpkin is supposed to lay or the other cards uh, before you start layering. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to the back of the pumpkin and place that on the front of the card. And just like when we placed the cover panel, we do wanna add or leave a little bit of a border Give that a good press. Just 
so cute. All right, let's piece together our inside layer. Go ahead and glue the layer to the mat. Again, leaving a little bit of a border. Flip that over and then adhere the mat to the inside of the card. There should be a small, thin white border around the entire mat. There we go. Check to make sure that the card folds properly. Okay, let's go ahead and put together the sentiment. Now, the sentiment is drawn on by the Cricut. I designed it that way so that it's a nice, clean, um, message on the inside. Place that on top of the banner. Now you can place this wherever you'd like. You can place it in the front, maybe a little bit down further, but I like to place them on the inside. Leave this part all blank, and then place the sentiment on the inside. I just think that with these side edge cards, they're very graphic on the front and then the way that the inside, um, the way that the inside panel kind of frames the artwork, it just makes more sense to me to have the, the message and the sentiment on the inside. All right, let's set that to the side and I'll go over how to fold the envelope. These are all included in all of the files. Go ahead and fold along the score lines. I'm going to fold all of the pieces in and then burnish them. Now I'm going to take my glue, add a thin line of glue to the side flaps, bring the bottom flap up, and then that forms your envelope. So cute, this is the perfect five by five card. All right, so that's the pumpkin. Let me show you the rest of them again. This is our leaf design number one. Leaf design number two. and our cute little acorn. All of these files are available for purchase at shop.thebeardedhousewife.com. They all do come with an envelope and they come in multiple formats. I can't wait to see what you make with these. Until next time, I will see everybody later. Bye-bye and happy crafting.